I'm really very disappointed at this stage because uh, instead of focusing on finding my husband and bringing uh, the uh, adopters and accomplices to justice, you know, the task force has been, you know, focused on investigating Pastor Raymond and uh, the, also questioning the family and stakeholders and friends, people who speak up for us. This, this is what I'm seeing, you know, and I haven't given up, but I am very disappointed. Since March 23rd, our last meeting with the police, uh, I have been calling them to, for updates on, their, uh, on them finding my father. But whenever I ask them for update, they will tell me that Tiada Perkembangan Baru. And that has been consistent until today. A family member was compelled to make another police report. This time, not about a missing person. Because on the 13th February, all they knew is their beloved father and husband was missing. He had no idea that he was abducted with such violence. As it appeared that it was so, one member of family made a report under the Penal Code, Section 364, which titles Kidnapping or Abducting in Order to Murder. This is a capital offence, as was stated by Susanna. Whoever kidnaps or abducts any person in order that such person may be murdered or may be so disposed of, disappeared, the word would be used in enforced disappearance, shall be punished with death or imprisonment, may extend to 30 years and be sentenced to death also. So serious is this offence, so serious it is that the police should take note the other short point we would like to make out of this issue of people of faith, we all know that in this country, the minorities accept the uh, place within the constitution. And in our federal constitution, it is clearly articulated that every person has a right to profess and practice his religion. And of course, subjected to a limitation within the article 11 sub clause 4. But that subjection is that state law, this is what we are saying. If anyone is alleged to have contributed the law, let the legal process take this course. There should be no extra legal or extra judicial action. And this is why this case, amongst the others, including Saudara Amri, Pastor Joshua Hilmi and Ruth, and perhaps others. All right-minded Malaysians and citizens call upon our government of the day and the ruling institution to respect the rule of law, that we must not allow forces within or without the government to take things to their own hands. Without the rule of law, our communities would not be able to live in harmony and at peace with each other, respecting each and the other. This is the cry and call of Susanna and the family, and on behalf of the others who has been also disappeared, that our government must cleave to that rule of law.